Hello everyone, welcome to my Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Spoilers for Young and the Restless suggest that even though Aunt Jordan is in jail, she still has ways to punish her foes. Indeed, viewers lately got the impression that Cole Howard's aunt was not done getting back with the Newmans. Her meeting with Claire Grace on January 17 of last week was a significant turning point in helping the girl come to terms with her traumatic childhood experiences and upbringing. The exchange also seemed to imply that Jordan could retaliate as soon as she had the chance against Claire, Nikki Newman, and the rest of the Newman family especially when she alluded to the idea that Claire was picking the wrong team to side with. However, Jordan's digressions also shed light on a possible direction for her plot's next chapter. Jordan is obviously psychologically ill in addition to being horrible and wicked. It won't be long before her attorneys file a motion to have her transferred to a mental health hospital while she's imprisoned. She clearly needs substantial assistance, but she is also dangerous. Furthermore, everything is conceivable in Geno City, where this site is located. Of course, nobody would argue that Jordan would be better off moving to a minimum security facility. Jordan might possibly be relocated without the Newman's knowledge. Could Jordan be admitted to a mental health hospital later this month or early next year, given that February sweeps is quickly approaching and that the little village will be the scene of the most dramatic drama? It might just take her a few days or weeks to devise an escape strategy. This time, Jordan may have Claire as her first target instead of Nikki in order to show her granddaughter that there is no moving forward from her and that she would always find a way to meddle and control her life. However, rumors pertaining to Young and the Restless indicate that fans will certainly see Aunt Jordan again after January's appearance and she will probably be prepared to unleash havoc on Claire and the rest of the Newman family sooner rather than later. According to teasers for Young and the Restless, Victoria Newman is currently focusing on her relationship with Claire Grace rather than her career or other relationships. In addition to taking a break from romantic endeavors, Victoria recently took a leave of absence from Newman Enterprises to focus on Claire. It goes without saying that Victoria and Cole Howard have been getting back in touch recently. As they work to aid Claire in recovering from all of her trauma, Cole and Victoria are becoming closer once more. That might result in Victoria and Cole getting back together romantically, but it's not guaranteed to last. Many Y and R fans are questioning if Victoria and Nate Hustings can still work things out as a couple because their relationship ended so abruptly. When Victoria opposed Nate at his last Newman meeting, he felt deceived, but at least she tried to explain Nate's intentions. Victoria thinks Nate is a wonderful man who was trying to do the right thing by Victor, even if he was tricked by Victor Newman's false medical emergency and fired for attempting to send Victor away. It's good to know that there is no longer any hostility in the way because Nate has demonstrated his soft side by assisting Nicky Newman. After bringing Nate up to date, Victoria even received counsel from him on Claire in the episode that aired on January 11. Victoria began to question whether they had actually ruined their relationship as a result. Although Nate pretended that Victoria's allegiance to her family would always be a problem, it was clear that the two of them still had a close bond. Nate advised them to maintain their relationship, but it's simple to see how it might develop into anything more. Can Victoria and Nate truly resist temptation indefinitely? After all, they still have a close relationship and a lot of chemistry. Victoria and Nate may eventually decide they're not over each other. In any case, it would be intriguing to observe how Victoria and Nate's relationship would develop if they were completely independent of Newman Enterprises. Given the significant life changes that Nate and Victoria are currently experiencing, there may be a chance for them to develop and learn new things about one another. Perhaps this is one of those cases where Victoria and Nate's relationship has a chance to recover. Although Nate doesn't think he can stand Victoria's constant support of her family, he also wouldn't ask her to leave them. Since there is still a lot of respect between them, maybe Victoria and Nate 
may work out a compromise eventually. In the future, Victoria and Nate might decide to rekindle their romance, so be sure to check back for updates. Spoilers for Young and the Restless indicate that Victoria will always be faced with unexpected news. Spoilers for Young and the Restless suggest that Seth might be more complex than first meets the eye. Is the person funding Nikki Newman covertly collaborating with Jordan on another scheme to destroy Newman? Seth appears to be a decent man who only wants what's best for Nikki. Nikki seems to have faith in Seth, but she also seems to have faith in Claire Grace. Claire convinced Nikki that she was a beautiful young woman by putting on the sweetest performance imaginable. It would not be difficult to fool Nikki again if it could be done once. Could Seth be Jordan's pick to trick the Newmans and get near enough to create havoc now that she needs someone else? It seems reasonable that Jordan would choose Nikki's sponsor if she was going to choose someone to snoop around in her life once more. It's possible that Jordan has been considering this as a fallback strategy for some time. It's possible that Seth harbors unspoken resentment for the Newman family. Victor Newman has made it obvious that he doesn't like Seth since they first met. You should take note of the unusual and tense contacts Victor has had with Seth. Fans should pay attention when the legendary Victor Newman experiences negative energy. In the January 16 episode of Why and All, Victor referred to him as that Seth guy and said he simply didn't feel good about him. Victor wants Nikki to have another sponsor, but she seems content with Seth and doesn't seem to be planning on replacing him. Seth is in a great position to trick Nikki and, in whatever eerie way Jordan desires, go after the Newman family. Jordan may use Seth as his next manipulating tool, whether it involves getting into Nikki's bed or something much more evil. Seth might secretly have some grudge against the Newman clan that hasn't been revealed yet. From the very first moment Victor Newman met Seth, it's been clear that he doesn't like him. Victor's interactions with Seth have been strange and strained, so that's something to pay attention to. When the great Victor Newman gets bad vibes, fans need to take notice. Victor called him that Seth guy in Y and R's January 16 episode and admitted he just didn't have a good feeling about him. Although Victor wants someone else to be Nikki's sponsor, she seems fine with Seth and apparently has no intention of swapping him out. Seth is in the prime position to dupe Nikki and target the Newman family in whatever creepy way Jordan might want him to. Whether that means landing in Nikki's bed or doing something even more sinister, Seth could be Jordan's next manipulation tool. The Young and the Restless spoilers Jordan isn't done scheming against the Newmans, so stay tuned for updates on Seth's potential involvement and any terrible news ahead. Spoilers for The Young and the Restless, be on the lookout for information regarding Seth's possible involvement and any bad news that may be in store since Jordan is not done plotting against the Newmans. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.